Hey, my name is Robert Vasquez, and this will be an explanation video on model basics. Let's get started. So we're going to create a model class and database migration. And to generate the model class and database migration, we're going to need to use the command rails generate model and put the not model name, which in this case will be student. And then you want to put your attributes, which will be first. And since this fall is string, I don't need to put colon string. Last, and we're going to give it a phone number, but we're going to make that a string because we're going to add the parentheses and the dash. Um, let's do student. ID, which that one will be an integer, so we need to specify that. And last, we're going to put their grade. Okay, and that will be string as well. You want to enter. And basically what it's creating is two files. One of the files is the model class and the other one is the database migration. So the database migration has a timestamp because they usually will order the files by the way they were run from oldest to newest. We could test that it worked by going to the model class. Okay, so we're going to go to app, models, student, as you see, here's our class. And we could check the database migration file by going to database migrate and here it is with the timestamp here's our attributes and now we want to go ahead and run the database migration by running the rails database migrate Reset. So this is how we apply the generated database migration. Okay, so it has been created and we could test that it worked by going again. Hold on. We're going to app models student and as you can see here's the information our attributes this table name and now we want to insert data into it and the way I like entering data Well, to see the database with records is that we go ahead and go to database seed right there. I'm going to put this over here. And we go to our model, which was student dot create exclamation mark, open parentheses. And we want to put our attribute, which was first, and add the name, which in this case would be Dean. Last name, Winchester, um, phone. Should be nine zero one three two three eighty five seventy nine student 
ID uh, 789456 and grade which uh, D and I always forget to put the commas it's important okay and we're gonna need five records so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy paste it that's four okay and we just change the name Emily Emily um, Garcia uh, phone number three 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 5620 student ID um, 456 123 and give her a B let's do Jesse Pinkman uh, 804 96, 32, uh, 741, 52631 and that's the one ID is 963 and then let's do Walter White 850 and Let's do two five eight one two three. Wait, two five eight one two three and an A. Okay, now we want to go ahead and save it, and then we run the seed script by inputting Rouse database. Migrate reset database seed. So this will add the seed data to the database. Okay. And we could check it by running Rails console and inputting pretty prints student dot all and sometimes it doesn't work for me but I can tell you it, it works okay so now we want to do the index pages So to do that, we want to go ahead and go to config routes, and we're going to delete this. And get, so when we get the command student, We give it an action which we want it to go to student hashtag index and we are going to name it students. It's just like I said in the other video, makes it easier when you do internal links. 
Let me save it now. We go here and we create a model controller by inputting Rails Generate Controller Student. Students. So I has created the controller and the view. Okay, now we create an index controller action. Now we gotta go to app controllers. Uh, app controller should be students controller. Okay, we got an app controller. Is that that? Uh, first we create the controller action code. So we define an index method in the to do's controller class and app. Then we want to add controllers. Okay. So I did the add controller, students controller. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we define the index method. I do index. At student equal student. Dot all. No, no. Dot all. Render index. And okay, we save it. So we make the controller action to retrieve the data model objects to be displayed in the view page, which we're going to make in a minute. And it doesn't have to be, this just says that we'll display all of them in any particular order. We could also use the order, um, but since we don't have an order in a way we wanted to arrange it, it would just display them as the way we enter them. So now we're going to create an indexed view template by going to the app views students and we're going to create a file and name it index.html.erb and here we're just going to go ahead and put how our page is going to look like uh, students enrolled The header. We add a table. Table class equals table table cover. Lead class equals dark okay tr h and we're going to display first name And then last name the 
great. I'm just going to give it an extra column. Now let me close this off. this one I'm gonna have to tap move H1 okay and now to do the body Okay, so the way we do the body, let me open. Percent at student dot each do student. Are the and here is just what we're gonna want it to do. So we want it to display the student first name. And since it's just the same, we're gonna do just going to copy it three, four times. And here will be the last name. Last name. And then grade. And then for this one, it's just going to be info okay so we go ahead and save it and run it where else server alcohol I forget to put slash student Uh, yes, I have to make a few mistakes. I forgot to close it. Close that. And close that off. And close that. So run it again. Usually when it takes a while, it's a good sign. That means it's compiling. Okay, meantime it does that, let's see what else we gotta do. So we're going to do the show page of displaying individual model objects. So we're going to add a show route. And by doing that, we go back to config route. And we do, if we get the request, uh, student slash ID and we're gonna want it to do let's go to students hashtag show and we are going to name it student 
going to save. Why did I do that? So here is students enrolled, the people we named, the last name, the grade, the grade, and then their info, which here is going to be the links to go to each individual. And that is what we're doing now. So we don't, we get to skip step two since we already created a model controller. So we're going to create a show controller action. So we go ahead and go to app controllers, app controllers, student controller. There you go, show, at student student equals student dot find rams id render show And we do end and we save it. And after that, it's just going to go ahead and after doing slash students, it's going to have an index number like this one. It'll be like one, two, three, four. And each one is going to be individual view. And this is how we're going to create a show view template. So we go to view student. We're going to add a file and we're going to name it show.html.erb. And what we're going to want the header to be header one. It's the student's first name and last name. So at student dot first and their last name so equals at student dot last and then we end the header then we're going to go ahead and do you l so we're going to make it a list and have their student id and do percent equals at student dot student id and we're gonna end the list And we're going to go ahead, we're going to need the phone number and their grade. So we're going to delete this here and write phone number and do phone. And here, letter grade. Grade, and we are going to go ahead and close this. 
save it. And we're going to go ahead and add links. So when you go ahead and click on info, it will take you to that. And we're going to do this by doing equals link to info student path student I believe it's students and student Link to student. Uh, and and go ahead and close. Control save. And we're gonna exit the server, rerun the server. And then we are going to go here and rerun it. Okay, so here we got first name, last name, grade. And if we click on the info, it should have taken us to the other page. Okay, so we're going to exit the server then it probably was student control save okay rerun the server Okay, reload the page. Okay, so it gives us their first name, last name, the student ID, the phone number, and their letter grade. And if we pick on someone else like Walter White, it would give us their first name, last name, student ID, phone number, and letter grade. And here's the index I was talking about. It will show like this one's number five. If you click on this one, this one should be three. And it is. So we got Jesse Pinkman and phone number, grade. And check if we completed everything. So I should have at least one string attribute and integer attribute. And three attributes in total, at least three attributes. We have like five attributes. Uh, the rows model class including migration. We did that. We see the data and includes at least five records. Yes. And then in space to place all the records of your model class are in the database. Yes. The records must display in a table that includes column labels. Yes, we did that. A show page that displays all the attribute values for a single record. And then display must include links from each row in the table to corresponding show page. And we did that. And that is it for our explanation video. Thank you.